Hi everybody. Uh, I'm Sanchita from Instant Bollywood, and Hi. today we have with us here uh, the cast of Masaba Masaba who are gearing up for second season. So over to you guys. Please introduce the characters. Hi, I'm Masaba Gupta, and I'm playing Masaba. <laughs> Hello, friends. I'm Neil Bhupalam, and I play the part of Dhairya Rana. who is a investor and a big fan of masaba gupta's designs hey how's it going guys my name is arman uh, and i play fate and um i'm just here to mess around you know i'm just uh, <laughs> here to like cause a spiral within this beautiful love story okay so as we can see the second season is going to have a spicy love triangle so let's get down into the fun part uh, we are going to play never have i ever with the masaba masaba cast so uh, if you have done the thing you will raise your hand and if you have not done the thing then you'll just uh, like keep your hands okay okay my hands are moving only <laughs> okay never have i ever committed a fashion faux pas i have okay daily <laughs> okay but then you have to explain also like uh, what oh. was the most outrageous thing I think I think wearing like white undergarments under a black dress <laughs> and being flashed by the paps okay. so all you could see was like the insides of my body and my charts <laughs> me what about you <laughs> when was this how long ago was this this was a couple of years back so <laughs> Back. I didn't invest in the right lingerie. Now I do. Oh dear! Were they emergency charts? No, they were. Like, I thought I was being all like you know tight and yeah, like. Yeah. Then I saw pictures and I'm like, what is that? It's not a black dress anymore. <laughs> uh, what about you? Nick? For me, um, mm, I dress badly most of the time. Ouch! This is a lie. Neil is oh. very well dressed. Oh, You're you. looking quite. Thank good. you. Today there's a team. <laughs> 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 Isha in the house, and um, yeah, I um, I like to. In fact, I think I deliberately sometimes dress badly well, in real life yeah. because you know, huh? You could, because you know, when when you're shooting, you you are dressed up really nice, and it's chaka chak and everything is you know even a dab and all will people will stop and it'll be done. So when you dress badly deliberately and go out into the real world, yeah. So your fashion faux pas is more like a statement. G. Exactly. Arman, what about you? Um, well, I I I didn't think I had uh, like a fashion sense, you know, ever. But then, um, you know, I, so I always experimented with stuff. So, yeah, I don't really know how to answer that actually. <laughs> okay, so we'll just put you down for. <laughs> I, basically, he hasn't had a fo- fashion faux pas. I think. Uh, uh, never have I ever dated more than one person at a time. If you have done that, you put your hands up. I believe everyone should date more than one person at a time. Oh, you are at some time in their life. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we? If it's happened, so if you have done that, you raise your hand, and if you haven't, then you like. What qualifies as dating? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Maybe you meet the person of their. Don't worry, team. <laughs> I'll ask the right I'll questions. I'll ask the right questions. Just save our face <laughs> and all of this moral policing. Anji, <laughs> what? Okay, oh. dinner, dinner, yeah, anything. Hookups, like a meeting other person's parents and all of that. Oh, oh no, that's a casual date. Casual, yeah. Uh-huh. Like if you uh, dated more than one person at a time. I've dated. Ah, banta hai. Life me. What about you, Arma? No. You are a one woman man. Yeah, it was uh, always like you know the one. What a liar! Never have I ever had a crush on someone I work with. Sitting next to my crush. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've had. I've had. What about you? Yeah, yeah. Have I've, you had a crush? Had. Yes, definitely. Flirt. Uh, never have I ever flirted with someone who was already taken. Already texting. Taken, taken. 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 Ah, oh. <laughs> like, mm, yeah, means I flirted. Oh I mean, God, I didn't. You know. guys are a bunch of what? characters, ah. One is to ask this kind of question. Oh, oh. After that, we are being honest. Then judgment is coming. One second. I don't go anywhere. My career is at stake here. 
illegal. No, I'm I, just a big fat too, so I would never. I'm a huge uh, lawbreaker. I've uh, skipped a uh, red light. But that's still that tame, right? Thoda. Or go jail. Oh, I mean. No, no. <laughs> Otherwise, I follow the. She wants more Neil now. Yeah, yeah. I want. Ah, really? Mm. Okay. Uh, uh, stole a sharpener once. ट <laughs> Oh, oh this there's too much. We we won't we won't be able to finish today guys. Honestly. True, true. Just there's one thing, just one much. thing. Like they told um, me they have stolen shit. So you have to tell me just oh, like, shit, have no. you stolen anything or He's going to steal your heart now, darling. Watch out. <laughs> so I did also steal a sharpener, you know, like uh, What is with Wow, <laughs> which year was this? <laughs> tell me when. Was... Which shop? <laughs> Were we all a part of a gang as children? <laughs> <laughs> Turns out we had a bond. We yeah, were like, yeah. you take the sharpener, okay. yeah. you take the pencil. We found it. something. You guys steal stationery supply. Okay. Uh, <laughs> next one. Um, never have I ever been caught red-handed by a family, family member doing something that I shouldn't have been doing. Always. What was Always. it? Always. What was it? I mean, uh, simple stuff. I was a very simple girl, you know. But like, I think my mom would catch me sneaking in late. at home in the night like way past curfew and stuff or watching tv when i wasn't supposed to that is still them like as well, i actually ran away happened. from school once you what ran away i ran away i ran away to play a handball match because she didn't allow me to play a handball match so i just like went away and played it okay uh, what about you neel erotic literature i had hidden under my bed mattress <laughs> Glass. Like that's what got me into reading. <laughs> School. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wow, this is really good. Yeah. <laughs> Later, time. little did I know they were all fake letters, <laughs> written by a bunch of creative people. So, uh, but I was like, uh, and then my mom spoke to me. I was like a teenager then, and I was <laughs> trembling. I was trembling. Me, talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Arman, have you been caught red-handed by your family? Doing something. Yes, Neil is actually um, in many ways my uh, my elder brother. You know, I mean, I I, I actually I went to Punjab once from sure. boarding school, like which was in Shimla, because um, I I was I, I was like in a debate competition, and so I won the competition, and I was so happy, and I kind of I kind of took a phone from someone because we weren't allowed phones, you know, in boarding school, so. Mm. While I was at this school in Punjab, I I picked up someone's phone. And I was like, hey, let me let me call my mom. So I called my mom and I'm like, mom, I I won the debate competition, you know. And she's like, हाँ हाँ और मुझे तेरी web history भी मतलब दिख गई है. Oh, web history. Oh God. Okay, spill spill. <laughs> oh crap. So I was like, oh. <laughs> okay, what were you searching? That's that's what happened with me. Like every time, uh, something good in my life happens. 
there's something that my mom and dad like find out about me that's just like oh, fuck. so what was that search history what what did your mom catch you searching doctor what 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 oh yeah like <laughs> We're losing you on your connectivity. Yeah, yeah, we're right sorry. Now. Could you repeat that? <laughs> Arman, hi. Could you repeat that, um, please? <laughs> what, what, what was your, what was uh, your search history? Right. Tribes in Africa. <laughs> I, I, I think it's American. Yeah, that's right. Tribes in Africa. <laughs> well, Bro, yeah. I love you. <laughs> uh, never have I ever said uh, I love you and not meant it. No, I've always meant it when I've said it. Yeah, it's like some close meaning, even if it's one percent of feeling. Sometimes you are, you guys are. Gentle. What about you, Amma? Have you ever said I love you and not meant oh, it? Yeah, no, I. Oh, so no, we just go around. It's impossible for me. Oh, okay, so all three of you would mean that. Okay.